I woke up grateful and very excited and it still doesn't feel real in a way. So, yeah. And it's funny too because I don't think I really realized how insane that this was going to be until just kept getting closer. He got the air. Rest of the night was really cool. I danced my ass off, and which was funny because I think that was the first time that I had ever actually like hung out with friends and then just danced at a venue like that. I understand why people go to raves now because the shit was so fun. <laughs> um, it meant I think everything um, for a lot of reasons without like sounding super sappy, but I I said it the first I said it like at the at Dyke Night too, being a part of something like in community to that extent that that was like that big it just had a lot of weight to it because personally it's really nice that I finally feel like I can be more of myself without having to I always say it like without leaving parts of myself at the door or at the threshold and shit but um it was really cool because everything that's happened since then is, I mean, I don't know what we would have done without it. You know what I mean? Like that, and then rain, we had we had Dyke Night, and then we had Rainbow Riot the, the following weekend. And those two gigs kicked off at like a huge part of the following that we have now. We're seeing people coming like five shows in a row, five shows in a row. People who are there at Dyke Night or people who are there at Rainbow Riot have come to every single thing that we've done so far. And they, I've gotten emails from people who are like, hey, you haven't posted on Instagram. Like, I thought you had a gig. What's going on? And I'm just like, you, you care? And seeing people like walk in the door and then they're wearing shirts that they bought, you know, and it's like the same people and then some and they're bringing their friends and it's, it's just really, really cool. Beautiful face. I got into Taste the Diversity Festival years ago. Um, I played there, I don't even remember what year it was, but I think I was 19 years old. Um, so it was at least, it was, yeah, about five years ago we got into the festival and then she asked me again if we wanted to play um, for an earlier slot. And I said, of course, because it's in the West Side, like a couple blocks away from the house I grew up in. Um, plus, you know, she always puts on an amazing, amazing community gathering and event. So I wanted to be there to support in any way that we could. It was really cool. Obviously, everything would be a lot less overwhelming if I didn't have, like, other obligations. And bills to pay it's I also in a way feel like a lot of my worlds are colliding because of what I do for my 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 nine to five it is supporting LGBTQ plus youth and some of the people who are who are following us are in their like their early 20s too and even my peers I'm just hearing a lot of like the what it means to them and then I'm like oh shit so it's cool but there's also so many other pieces happening like the merch and art artist collaborations and with like visual artists and um also just like writing and trying to get everyone's schedules together so we can settle down and record it's nice to finally have like a concrete 
project where everybody cares just as much, um, but it works also within everyone's capacities. You know what I mean? So like the vision, the direction ultimately is like all mine, um, which feels like a lot of responsibility, an over, it feels like an overwhelming amount of responsibility sometimes, but it is, it's able to happen because of how amazing everyone is. Just being able to just play with my friends consistently, honestly, brings me so much joy. And it makes everything in, in here make sense. You know what I mean? It's like, oh, this is why I'm doing this. And to me, that was a very small snippet into the future of what the future of the band could look like in terms of like touring and travel and just like shooting the shit in between gigs and how fun that is and how chill it is. And I'm like, I felt enormously at peace. And I was like, this, I'm exactly where I need to be. So it was really cool.